I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> So it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crap? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Man, that stung! I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened! What? I'm fine. I'm fine. What in green tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then we... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man, are you going to keep yapping or are you going to help me out of this mess? I'm going to keep yapping because, in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three Sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. 
The only other way north is by foot through the fire canyon. But its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there before I turn you both into ferns.
more concentrated than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of Blue Eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. <laughs> Challenges that lie ahead. And uh, no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! Hey, baby. What do you say you and I go cruising on this A-grab zoomer? Rule number one. I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. sightings near the village and now this see those gears up there boy see them see how they're not moving that means our village has no power the eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted and boys everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened did you pay the bill yeah hmm? oh, oh you're funny now look if you two fix the eco beam, 
I'll give you a power cell. Oh, oh and, and another thing. If by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is, a, oh, a very modest 90 precursor orbs. my muse. Your what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Oh, I just hope she's all right. It's worth a parcel if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute! We are not going back to Misty Island! Are we? orange bellied rain friend. You know, yesterday I saw some terribly vicious creatures capture a mother flat flat near the beach. Now there's this poor little orphan egg sitting in a nest at the top of the cliff and I can't get to it. If you could climb up there and push it off, I've piled some hay down at the base to catch it safely. Do an old lady a favor and I'll give you a power cell. Just got cows. Oh, it's you. Oh, just resting my tired bones. I've been trying to get those hungry yak cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man and try to get them back into the corral? Oh, my God. 
lazy farmer owes us a power cell. Let's go talk to him. Ah, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. Patrolling the ocean took a bite out of me fishing rig, and now they're gobbling up me catch. No matter what I try, I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Woo! Maybe it's your breath. You think you can do better? Try scooping up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power set if you can catch two hundred pounds of them critters, and then I'll let you and Shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. You want to try the challenge? There are two types of good fish to catch: one pound fishies and five pound fishies. <laughs> if you miss twenty pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. There are poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers, and you'll poison the whole darn catch. Steady boy. Come <laughs> on. 
precursor launcher here, but you aren't powered up with the blue stuff, so it ain't gonna help us!
should go tell that windbag of a mayor that he owes us big time for connecting the village energy beam. Wow! Check out that funky skunk just sitting on the rocks over there. Hey! Let's go check out old Fish Breath's speedboat at the dock. Oh, what a wonderful sight. I thank you. The entire village will thank me. Uh, boys, you have restored power to the village and guaranteed my re-election. And for that, my boy, you earned a power cell. Contribution? Good. A, a sizable one, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is a sizable contribution. I, well, well, I, I just hope this power cell adequately represents my gratitude. <laughs> Dear boy, you've caught me at a most inopportune moment. Uh, I was to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. I see you two are back to make the trade. Good, good, jolly good. Hey, you have the uh, precursor orbs that we agreed on? I hope you put this hard-earned power cell to good use. Cheerio, ta-ta, bye-bye.
Congratulations, but you have so much to do, I won't waste your time. By the way, if things don't work out, Daxter could always get a job controlling the village rat problem. <laughs>
Here's a power cell for your valor. No, no! No, 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 no! Look, isn't that cute? It thinks you're its mama. Ah, I'm not your mom. You see any feathers here? Oh, love at first sight. Oh. Listen, boys. I'll take this little chick back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her. to fuel my heat shield. Meet me by the entrance to the fire canyon by climbing the cliff behind the farmer's house. Bring the power cells and hurry. My father says he's seen more lurkers around.
Trust me, it's a whole new experience when you're covered in fuzz! <laughs> I'll make it back. Knock over those bones. <laughs> Your attack strong. 
Parcel. I won't need it now that I have my inspiration back. Oh, 
turn. Present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. For your gift, another power cell is yours. You have proven yourself worthy. Here is a power cell. This must be a precursor oracle like the sage always goes on about. I hope they weren't as ugly in person. needed to power my heat shield. Now be careful. The shield will only protect your zoomer till it reaches 500 degrees, so try to keep her cool. Flying over open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit 500 degrees and it's over. Over? Like burning molten metal over? The fire cannon gets pretty hot, so keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. Oh! And when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck! sensation. Hey! It looks like the Blue Sage threw a party. Oh my! Rock Village is on fire! One heck of a party. No, no! I mean Rock Village is being bombarded with flaming boulders! Oh! And it looks like the Blue Sage is working on a levitation machine to move them. Assuming it's operational, we're gonna need power cells to fuel it. I guess you two are going to have to find some more. We'd better take a look at his notes. Jack, go check on the villagers, then come back and give us an update. And take the furball with you.
metal organs. Walk it off, tough guy! Oh, sure, I was tough once. Maybe even the toughest of them all. I single-handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year. Then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the Boulder Bombardment. So, full of valor, armor shining in the sun, I climbed the hill to take him on. But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? Cause it's killing me! After my last stunning failure, he sealed the passageway to his roost with leaving no way for anyone to challenge him again. So, our sage, a master of blue eco, and a mechanical genius, devised a machine capable of lifting the boulder out of the way. But alas, he disappeared before we had a chance to turn it off. And he took all of his power cells with him. At least I was able to pull enough pontoons out of our bridge to prevent that monster from coming down here to do me harm. Yeah, good, good job, tough guy. But uh, we're, we're gonna need you to uh, put him back and stuff. Oh, sure. And seal my doom? <sighs> All right. Fine. Bring me 90 precursor orbs and I'll let the pontoons loose. But I'm not going to fight that monster again. Oh, wonderful. You brought me the precursor orbs. All right, I'll fix the bridge. But don't ask me to get involved with that creature again.
raised a piece of the underwater ruins to the surface. It seems you can use eco in ways we've never seen before. A power cell surfaced with the room. Climb up there and get it. about this. Yeah! <laughs> 
two look like a couple of capable fellows. I've got a research project going, and maybe you could help me out. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We ask you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the Precursor Basin next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We care. Maybe for two power cells. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. Fair enough? Oh, you have the orbs. Here's a power cell we agreed upon.
Watch to go!
consumer. That's one more power cell. Moles, that's awfully good of you. Here's a power cell to help you out. Now I can get back to my research. Yeah! <laughs> 
John, my beautiful swamp. I own these here parts. Everything that doesn't sink into the mud, that is. <laughs> Judging by the smell, I'd wager your bathtub sank in the mud long ago. What's a bathtub? Anyway, I got bigger problems now. Seems some nasty lurker varmints are grousing about, snatching everything they can get their grubby little paws on, and scaring away my pet hip hog, Parley. He's been missing for nigh on to a coon's age. I've been putting out his favorite snack. Those ornery swamp rats keep stealing them. If you could keep those pesky critters away long enough, I just know Farley will smell them vitals and come back. Will you help me out? Good. Those rats will be back any time. Shoot all them rats. Keep them from eating at least one of them snacks.
dirigible barely hanging on. Let's find the last tether.
There we go. Now be careful facing that monster lurker at the top. Wait! Uh, I'll stay here and protect Kira. Jack, I think you're ready to handle that monster without... Oh, really heroic of you.
Sage's lab looks worse than the blues. Well, it definitely looks as though there's been a struggle here. <laughs> I'd hardly call it struggle. Would you, dear sister? Certainly not. The Red Sage gave up with so little effort. No fun at all. Gull? Is that you? You've finally gone off the deep end, eh? And Maya, I told you the Dark Eco would affect you both. Mm, nobody ever listens to old Samos. What have you two done with the Blue and Red Sages? Don't worry about your colorful friends. You old fool. They're perfectly safe in our Citadel. Our special guests. They have graciously agreed to help us on a little project. You are wrong, Samos. Dark Eagle can be controlled. We've learned its secrets, and now we can reshape the world to our liking. You can't control Dark Eagle by itself. Even the precursors... Until now, we've had to scrape by with what little Dark Eco we could find near the surface. But soon, we will have access to the vast stores of Dark Eco hidden deep underground. Not the silos. Yes. The silos. They will be opened, and all the dark ego of the world will be ours. But that's impossible. Only a precursor robot. Oh, don't look so upset, Samos. We've got big plans for you. <laughs> Silos, the Dark Eco will twist and destroy everything it touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. The fastest way there is through the lava tube at the bottom of this crater. A few more power cells and your Zoomer's heat shield should get you across the lava safely. All right, my boy. You know what to do. Take the flea bag and go round up more power cells. Ah, there's lurker troops in the mountains. Hey, Gordy, duh, I think we got visitors. You think, Willard? Howdy, strangers. Uh, passing through? Uh, us two. Well, we gotta be moving on. Nothing to see here. Duh, I thought you said this was a priceless gem worth Willard! Actually, we want power cells, not gems. We got four of them. Do you want them? What Birdbrain here is trying to say is we may have a few power cells laying around, and we might be willing to part with them for 90 orbs each. Where have I heard that before? Hey, how do you two geniuses expect to get that big gem out of here anyway? Well, smarty pants, we got 12 more years of digging to figure that out. Uh, Gordy, wouldn't it take less time if you don't...
right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. Oh, all right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours.
to fuel the heat shield against the lava on the way to Gaul and Maya's citadel. <laughs> Come <laughs> on! 
at the funeral. Like, how am I gonna get changed back now? Thank <laughs> you. 
Stop for those orbs. Huh? <laughs> 
defenses reside. You can gain my power cells by bringing 120 precursor orbs for each. You have obtained another power cell. For your effort, a power cell is the reward. Under control? 
lurker armies continue to grow across the land, the sages have been kidnapped, Gaul and Maya have gathered enough eco to complete their terrible plan, and to stop them, you're going to have to fight your way through their citadel. Uh, yeah, that about uh, sums it up. You've got to rescue my father before it's too late. And Jack, be careful. Yeah, we will be. It's about time you two decided to show up. Nice to see you, too. Do they have you mopping the floors now? There's no time for jokes, Dexter. Gaul and Maya kidnapped us to sap our energies to power their abominable machine. It appears they have combined the functional remains of a precursor robot with scavenged artifacts from across the land. Then they added a few diabolical additions of their own, creating the one thing capable of opening the dark eco-silos. If you can free the four of us, we can use our combined powers to break the force shield surrounding the robot before they use it to destroy the world.
Gustav boy and his muskrat. <sighs> I'm gonna give Gall and my a little payback for this embarrassment. Then we'll see about cooking up some muskrat stew. <laughs> Piles of 
precursor metal, that insidious mechanical creation must not be allowed to wreak its terrible havoc. I will try to actuate the shield door by eliciting a conduit of energy between myself and the vast portal below. Uh, yeah, you do that. We'll, uh, just go find more help. Weird up!
Let's go climb up those platforms. Power with the other three sages, and together we'll open the shield door surrounding the precursor robot. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good start. And then after you guys open that shield, what are you gonna do about the robot? Nothing, Daxter. We have to keep the shield open. It's up to you two to figure out how to destroy the robot. Oh, great. I get to help the guy that turned me into a furball destroy the only person who can turn me back! First, save the world. Then we'll try to convince Gaul to help Daxter. You two will save us. Once I possess limitless dark ego, I will have the key to creation itself. This is madness. Releasing that much dark ego will destroy everything we know. Just look what it's done to you. It has given us a beauty beyond anything you could understand. Beauty? Have you two looked in the mirror lately? Just wait until we open the silos, little one. You think short and fuzzy is bad. And to think you two traveled all this way for my help. Fools! Enjoy your front row seats to the recreation of the world! Take the elevator up and stop that robot!
Like I may have been too hard on you boys. You do have what it takes to be heroes. But Daxter, now we can't change you back. Don't worry about me, baby. You know what they say. Big things come in small packages. Jack, you have an incredible talent for channeling Eco. Samos, you may have been right about this one after all. And Kira. Without your help and ingenuity, none of this would have been possible. <laughs> Perhaps we've found another sage now that Gaul and Maya are lost. Yes, Gaul and Maya. The Dark Eco probably destroyed them. Uh, probably. Ah, who cares? Bring them on! We can take them again! Right, Jack? I said, right, Jack? Wow! Put it on ice, big guy!
Holy yakko! What could that be? Wow! It's an ancient precursor door. It looks like it will only open if we fill all 100 holes with power cells. Uh, we're heroes, remember? We have 100 power cells. Thank <laughs> you.